Great, so chapter two. In chapter two, we're going to take a look a little more inside how economists use this idea of marginal benefits and marginal costs. In particular, we're going to think about how economists simplify what's really a complicated problem to focus on a particular question. We do that the way other scientists do it, by using models. In chapter two, you're going to see two models. One model is the so circular flow model of the economy. The question that can be asked using that model is how can we measure the size of the economy? That model is mostly used in math. In micro, though, you're going to get an introduction to a model called the Production Possibilities Frontier. It illustrates the set of choices that we have to choose between when we're making these decisions about allocating scarce resources. The Production Possibility Frontier is a concept that can be used for household decision making, individual decision making, and countrywide decision making. It's really useful. What I want you to pay particular attention to is how marginal costs fit in to this model. The boundary of the production possibility frontier is defined by the marginal cost or the opportunity cost of producing the two goods that we're thinking about. 